Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. So a few weeks ago me and my father took a trip up to Finnish Lapland. Uh, while we were there we took a Northern Lights tour uh, in the hope of seeing the Northern Lights. Fortunately we weren't very successful. Um, but in this video I thought I'd share with you anyway what uh, you can expect when you go on one of these tours. And uh, before I do that I'm going to leave you with some uh, sites of the Northern Lights, how they're created, history, and also some interesting facts and what right the end I'll be telling you the best places where you can see the northern lights, what countries you should be going to and cities with the most chances of seeing them. Stay tuned and I shall get back to you later on. So let's get started with a bit of science and history first of this spectacular display. The Aurora Borealis, or most famously known as the Northern Lights, is a demonstration of the Earth's magnetic field interacting with the charged particles from the Sun. It is also beautiful to see and worth braving the cold night when visiting the high northern or southern latitudes. The Northern Lights come in all different colours, which ranges from orange, red, yellow, blue and green. These different colours are as a result of different gases, such as oxygen and nitrogen, which in turn gives off light due to the particles striking them. According to Neil Bone, the author of the Aurora Sun-Earth Interactions 1996, the term Borealis is jointly credited to have been first used by Pierre Gassandi and Galileo Galilei, who both witnessed a light display on the 12th of September 1621. Now you know a bit of history and science behind it, let's hear a few interesting facts. Auroras usually occur in the Aurora Oval, a ring-shaped belt about 2,500 miles or 4,000 kilometers in diameter near the magnetic poles of Earth. Because this belt expands and contracts, the area where the Aurora can be viewed changes each night. Venus doesn't have a magnetic field, but astronomers once spotted an aurora-like event on the planet. Scientists believe that the aurora may have occurred due to the collision between carbon dioxide and oxygen in Venus' atmosphere and solar wind particles that penetrated deep into the upper atmosphere. Magnetic midnight, which is the time when the north or south magnetic pole is directly between the sun and an observer on earth, is considered the best time for watching the auroras. Yellow knife in Canada and Tromso in Norway are sometimes called aurora capitals because these cities offer some of the most frequent sightings of the northern lights. Other places where they appear more frequently are Reykjavik in Iceland and the Shetland Islands in Scotland. If you are looking forward to spotting the aurora borealis, you need to be very patient because there is no fixed time. However, that being said, experts believe although they can occur any time between 4pm and 6am, the best time is usually between 10pm and 1am. The International Space Station is located at the same height at which some auroras occur and is higher than others. Therefore, the crew can enjoy both a side view and a view from above the northern lights. The most common aurora colour is green or greenish yellow. This is because most solar particles collide with our atmosphere at an altitude of around 60 to 150 miles, where there are high concentrations of oxygen. The second most common aurora colour are pink and red. Our eyes cannot easily spot the blue and purple colour northern lights in the sky. In Norway, you do not need to go to a remote location to observe the northern lights because these can be easily spotted even in the skyline above cities like Tromsø, Narvik and Bodo. 
In Italy, France and the United Kingdom, myths and legends often painted the auroras as a sign of the arrival of unfortunate events such as war, plague, conflict and death. This may be because when the aurora appears further south in Europe, the lights often take on the reddish hue of blood. The dancing rays of the aurora may feel like they are right above your head, but in reality, the lights occur at heights from 80 km or 50 miles to 640 km or 400 miles above the Earth's surface. If you look forward to having the brightest and clearest view of the aurora, Borealis, the closer you are to the north side of the Earth, the better. This is why the Arctic is considered the perfect place for observing the northern lights. You may get to see the aurora even during the afternoon in the Arctic. Finally, I'm going to leave you with the countries where you are most likely to see the northern lights, which are Norway, especially in northern regions or the Lofoten Islands, Finland, especially in Lapland or Rovaniemi, Sweden, especially in Lapland or Karuna, Iceland, especially in the southern parts or near Reykjavik, and finally Canada, especially in Whitehorse, Yukon, Yellowknife or the Northwest Territories. Hello guys and welcome to another video with Destination Discovery. Tonight we are going on a Northern Lights tour. Uh, it's a group tour that I've booked for a company called Fire Tour who uh, does loads of different kind of tours across the world uh, through third party companies. Um, and I'm going, like I said, I'm going on a group tour um, to see or try to see the Northern Lights tonight. Uh, whether we see them or not, obviously it's down to Mother Nature and whether they're clouds, etc. Uh, hopefully our guys will be able to find a good spot and we'll be able to see them. Nevertheless, uh, let's uh, go and find out, shall we? Let's show you the Northern Lights, hopefully. Okay, so I was French to turn off the nights begin. I'm currently outside the office where we're meeting. I'm waiting for the guide in about 15 minutes time. And then it'll be time to go off and hunt for the northern nights. I need to find out on the Aurora forecast uh, through our mobile app that we only have a 3% chance of seeing them tonight. So it's not looking hopeful. And it's, uh, looking like it's very cloudy. My dad's with me as always. Um, looking scary as always. Um, yeah, so we're uh, not looking hopeful, but you never know. Miracles might happen and we might head north and see them. Who knows? Let's take you on this adventure with me. Guiding me to 
to where my words are true I've waited a million years before And I do it all again just to make sure Yeah, it's hard to be It's hard to be this real We can play our favorite song Dancing to it all night long With you I feel With you I feel something so unashamed when I play in any games. It's hard to be. It's hard to be this real. We can play our favorite song, dancing to it all night long. With you, I feel. With you, I feel something. Cause we're both so unashamed. of our uh, Northern Lights so unfortunately didn't get to see the Northern Lights but that is the unpredictability of this natural phenomenon uh, so anyhow um, it, we did have our cookies and blueberry juice uh, so they did provide us with that anyway I will leave you there good night